Whether in your Windows 7 system tray, control the volume of your computer with your middle mouse button and personalize your Windows 7 logon screen a quicker and easier way, all in this video. First up is Win Thunder, a free application that allows you to put shortcut apps and get your Windows weather in your system tray. So download the file to somewhere you'll find it easily like your desktop, then extract the contents to a folder and double click on the .exe. When you click on the icon in the system tray, you can go to application settings and you'll see here you'll be able to select uh, the icon for the application itself, start Win Thunder on system startup. And clicking on the weather tab, you can instantly search for your uh, city or wherever you live to get the weather. You can also change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius and also change the update intervals from one minute to four hours. You can also create a shortcut to a folder. For this, I'm going to do my computer and my Windows 7 partition just by clicking there. And you can also create others like a shortcut to a website, for instance, Facebook, what I'm going to do now. So we'll just do that. And you can also change the icon for that if you have one and arrange the shortcuts. Next up, we have volume mouse. This allows you to change or control the volume of your computer with your middle mouse button and another shortcut key. So you'll see in the downloads section when you scroll down a manual in the form of zip and in the sort form of an installer. We're going to click on the installer and download it. Then after you do that and you save it somewhere you'll find it easily, you're going to install a program like any other program. When that's done and you run it, you'll see a bunch of options here for display the icon in the system tray, display the window for configuration when you run it, and run it at high priority. You can change the component from the speakers to the microphone and also what shortcut key you want to use. And when you have everything set up, you'll see a slider like this pop up where your mouse is. The next application and last one is logon personalization. This allows you to personalize your Windows 7 logon screen in a quick and easy way. So go to the link in the description for this video and download it somewhere you'll find it easily. Then after that, you just need to run the program. You can see the default Windows 7 logon background or you can change your own as anything you want and set that image. Clicking on logon options will give you the ability to change the button style from three styles, change the startup message and even change the Windows 7 branding where it usually says Windows 7 and the edition you have. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, until next time thank you for watching and goodbye.